What's up, Sag? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. So guys, this is your July 2018 reading. So let's get into this and let's see what this month has in store. Okay. So this will be for sun, moon, and rising signs. Okay. So whatever comes out, comes out. And please keep in mind, guys, that all the energies here could be transferable. So it could be something that's being done to you or something that you guys may be putting out into the universe. But let's see what pops up. What is going on for the sign of Sagittarius? July 2018. What can the sign of Sagittarius expect this month? Okay. All right. So the energy that we have here is the two of swords. Okay. So with the two of swords, a very tough decision you guys have to make this month. Um, something where you feel like you're between a rock and a hard place. For some of you, maybe it's regarding an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But I feel like the reason why you're having a tough time making a, uh, you know, just making a decision here, is because you're questioning: Do I have all the facts? Okay, maybe you're very guarded because you don't feel like you have all the facts. But let's see how things play out. Now, the first card that we have for the past is the Empress card. So this could be talking about a new start that you're getting into, but something that you want to tend to across the way. For some of you, this could be a pregnancy, but just something very beautiful that's blossoming and growing here. We have the Nine of Swords, where you're starting something new, but you're very worried, you're concerned about it. Um, you're really in your head about it. Maybe you're creating things that don't exist. Maybe it's just something that you're really worried about, you know, is this something that I can handle? And with the Ten of Cups in the reverse, maybe for some of you, this new beginning doesn't make you happy. For some of you, maybe it's an unwanted pregnancy, something like that, okay? But there's still something involved in this that you're very passionate about. You know which path you want to take, okay? But there's just something that maybe you had to move away from that wasn't so good for you. So you're taking this new beginning with a grain of salt. The next card that we have here is the Devil card. For some of you, maybe you're dealing with the Capricorn, okay? But there could be a situation here that is very toxic for you. And we have the world card. So you're getting into a new chapter of your life. But are you going towards something that's toxic or have you closed the door on something that was toxic? And you have the high priestess. So at this point, whether you're letting go of this toxic chapter or starting something that could be toxic for you, you did it knowingly. Okay? What the high priestess whether this is a man or female, this is going to be someone who's extremely tuned in. They don't need to see text messages. They don't need to see pictures. They don't need any sort of proof. Their gut is enough for them. All right? So you guys are really standing your ground with something new. Maybe it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But something very problematic that you had to let go of. So I'm going to assume that a lot of you walked away from something that could have been toxic. The last card that we have here is a Five of Swords in the Reverse. So yeah, you definitely could have walked away because you're at a place now where you want to avoid problems at all costs. You just don't want any sort of BS around you. Alright, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So by you guys avoiding problems, maybe you're making a lot of money, maybe there's some sort of inheritance, but something that made you feel very abundant that came in. And it doesn't even have to be monetary, just something that makes you feel good. 
okay an offer that comes in possibly from a pisces cancer scorpio but something that you can be passionately invested in all right and with the eight of pentacles in the verse at the bottom now there was some sort of clarity that you got on something or maybe some sort of secrets that came out where you know you have to stop working on a situation with the emperor you guys are in a place where you're thinking about you know what's the smartest and most intelligent you know move for me what's the most logical thing for me to get into right now in your present moment the first card that you have is a star card all right so you're getting wish fulfillment here so this is a sense of you just feeling really good um if there's anything that was hurtful in the past this is a healing energy as well all right or maybe now with the seven of pentacles in the reverse popping up there's something that you're truly wishing for and desiring but you see it as a waste of time and effort at this point all right and with the hierophant there's a lot that could be going on here so for some of you you're really wishing for something you're seeing it as a waste of time but that is the universe kind of interfering okay for others of you you're realizing something was a waste of time and it brings you towards something that is wish fulfillment but either way there's something that you know you still I don't want to word this you're at a point that no matter what's happening there's still the sense of I know who I am and I know what I'm capable of and if I don't feel like I can grow here I'm gonna turn my back but if there's something that I feel that I need here I'm going to wait even if you know people may say it's a waste of time and effort I'm gonna be here and I'm gonna make sure that you know I'm around if this chance or opportunity comes in again the next card that we have here for the present moment is the four of cups in the reverse so an offer that you guys accept or an offer that you give that is accepted or maybe just you guys coming to acceptance of something and we have the six of swords so you could just be accepting the fact that you have to move away from something or maybe some sort of offer that you accept maybe some of you are taking a job overseas or something that's going to cause you to move uh, jobs or locations but in order to take this new beginning or this new offer this new start there's something that has to be cut out okay uh, so you guys take something new but something has to go at the same time but you're going towards a path of stability so that's really good the last card for the present moment is a tower card in reverse so maybe with this new chapter that you're going into there's part of your heart or your mind that is kind of dragging the past with you but whichever you have to do whether you have to move away from someone or just accept the fact that um, you know something just wasn't going to work you guys dodged a bullet okay things could have been really bad but you got out of it in a way where you know you let go of any detrimental possibilities that could have came in and we have the seven of swords all right so that's someone who could be very secretive maybe you guys are making a new move you don't necessarily want people to know about it and the Sun card you guys have something good all right so there's something good that you have here where you feel like your life is going to be a lot more stable but i feel like you guys are just keeping that to yourself you know kind of like that attitude where if you have something good before you know that you have it for sure or before it's solidified don't tell anybody all right because it could be the sort of thing where let's say you go for you know a, a top 500 company and you feel like you have a good shot at getting this job but there's people out there that are jealous that don't want to see you doing well so if you tell them prematurely their negative opinions thoughts emotions they're putting that in the universe and the universe picks up on everything so i feel like for a lot of you you have something good but you're like you know what i don't want to risk this not working out so let me keep this to myself okay or maybe it's something that you feel is very good but there's secrets attached to it but either way you're letting go of something that your heart your soul just didn't feel okay with you just had no control over it so with the seven of wands you're really standing your ground and you're cutting off anything that's not gonna work because there's a new start here that you're very excited about now moving forward the first card that you guys have is the two of Pentacles in the reverse you're finding balance there's something that you had to drop in order to find it but you dropped it all right full card again 
So there's this sense of excitement that you have. Whatever it is that you're going towards, it's new. It's not something that you've done before. It's not a person that you've dealt with before. Um, this is completely, you know, unmarked territories for you. But you're excited. All right. Now, whether it's you or somebody around you, with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, there's a very petty energy around you. Maybe that's why you're keeping this such a secret because you're trying to... Um, you know, really advance and boss up with this. And maybe you know that there could be a lot of arguments for this, especially for those of you who had to leave someone behind in regards to love and you're going towards somebody new. That could be another reason why you're keeping it to yourself. But again, whether it's you or someone else, there's somebody here who's just being a bit petty. You know, they're very guarded. They're very on the defense. And it's someone who's going to amplify problems. Okay, and maybe the person has, you know, complete 100% reason to feel this way, but you guys are just trying to avoid this energy. All right, this is the energy that you're trying to have. You're just going with the flow. Anything that has too much adversity, you don't really involve yourself in it. If you have to overexert yourself, you don't want to do it. All right, and you have the Two of Cups. So because you have this chill like vibe, this energy, you come across something that feels very good. It could be a soulmate sort of love. It could be, you know, a friendship that it's like, oh my God, I was always looking for a friend like you. It could be, you know, you getting a job or an opportunity that you really wanted because there's victory here. Okay. And you guys are feeling so powerful. With the Queen of Wands, this is the type of energy where you don't need to tell people to respect you. You go in a room and they know to respect you. And they do. Because you're so damn good at what you're about to get into. Or your heart is so invested in what you're about to get into. You're doing this with passion. It's not something that's forced. It's something that's naturally there. Okay. But somebody's not happy to see it happen. Or maybe someone, you know, can tell you guys this is kind of reckless the way you're going into it. Okay. So let's see how this uh, energy can affect you. Four of Wands. So I mean you're stabilizing yourself. You're building a really good foundation for yourself. <laughs> so you guys have the Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. You found something that works for you where you're appreciated, where you can genuinely build something. Okay. And I really don't feel that this is your energy at all. Someone is upset that you found something that works for you. Maybe they wanted to be part of this new thing that you found. Or maybe you had to let them go in order to find this. All right. Or maybe you guys honestly just took a risk. You took a gamble. And it could have been something that was seen as reckless. You know, maybe you dropped like $30,000 to invest in a business or something. All right. But you can't get success without risking something. All right, so if you want to do something that's above and beyond, you have to put up a risk that's going to be above and beyond. So either you guys are building and someone's pissed off that they're not part of this, or you really just have to take a gamble with it, but it's going to work, okay? And there's just something that you have to stop working on, and you have to be resilient to get what it is that you want. So this is good. You know, honestly, whatever it is that you're working on, Work in silence. That's going to be the best approach for whatever this is. All right? Make sure that it's nice and stable before, you know, making a Facebook status about it. All right. So let's see what the advice is for my lovely Sagittarians. Okay, 
Honestly, guys, push came to shove. There's something that you had to walk away from, something that just wasn't bringing out the best of you. And although it might be something that you're not over or something that you're still holding in your mind or your heart, there had to be a change here, okay? So something just was bringing out the worst in you. You knew that you had to move away from it. And because you decide to move away from that, even if you're still invested and you're, you know, very strict about fighting for what it is that you want and you're very focused on it this change is what's allowing for something else to work okay because you decided to give up on something here you really come into a very powerful place okay so you guys are having a tower moment for some of you it's going to be an uncomfortable transition okay because with the tower, you know, this can hit us in so many ways. But this is something inevitable that is meant for you, that the universe is dipping its hand into your life in order to make sure that you're on the right path for this. All right, so this is going to be good. You just had to let go of an energy that did not suit you. And by you guys letting this go, you really get something that maybe you didn't realize you wanted, but it's something that's really going to work for you where you can really feel powerful in all of this. It's just whatever it is that you're building, just with the display of the cards that I saw, it's something that you're not going to want to talk about prematurely. Make sure that you secure the bag before you talk about what's in the bag, okay? Work in silence, Sagittarians, okay? This is going to be something that's good, but um, you don't want other opinions or anything that can cause you to, you know, second guess yourself. Go with your gut, go with your heart here, and get whatever it is that's coming your way. Okay, so guys, I love you so much. Um, the next reading that I do for you is going to be love. Okay, so if there's any sort of readings that you guys need, you can always find my information in the description to any of my tarot videos and just get a hold of me. All right, take care, guys. I'll see you soon.